Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play some more Yoshi's Woolly World. And this doesn't really seem as effective to run all the way around this giant yarn ball of dreams, destiny, and hope for the future. But, you know, it at least kind of looks cool to do it that way. <laughs> Not really. But as you can obviously tell, I'm being a very special Yoshi right now. Look at this. I am the Duck Hunt Dog. Yoshi. And I thought this amiibo of the three that I actually have here currently is the most hilarious looking, so I'm just like, I have to use it. I just absolutely have to. Hopefully I can get some close-up shots somewhere in World 2-1, but yeah. The other amiibo that I have here of, like, there's Rob and Mr. Game & Watch. Mr. Game & Watch is essentially just a black Yoshi. I mean, it's pretty cool and all. I mean, I don't know if there is actually a proper Black Yoshi or not. If there is, then there's essentially a dual Black Yoshi. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to just go into this. Go into the desert and across the fluttering dunes. Let us start. And wait. All you can eat watermelon? What does that even mean? I... Uh oh. I didn't mean to to use it. I just wanted to get more information about it because I thought that if you pressed it, then it would actually, you know, give you more info and then say, would you like to use this? Yes or no? Oh well, I'm just going to have an all-you-can-eat watermelon then. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's probably not good. Probably not good, but I'll, I'll figure it out <laughs> as I go along, I guess. Because I just have... I'm just going to keep that watermelon floating up there. I don't I don't necessarily need it. Not necessarily, but... Sure. If, if I need all-you-can-eat watermelons, so be it. So be it. Also, I'm going to test... Because I did change my aimer to being, like, fast or something like that. And it doesn't seem to be that much different. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just need to get going. Let's get moving! And oh, this seems like a little basket. I wonder no, I don't think I can do anything with it. I wanna see that I can though. <laughs> so I'll just throw everything. Cause after just taking a little bit of a break from this game, it's I have to relearn everything. I have to relearn what I have learned. So I wonder if these are supposed to be the dunes or if these are actually that are just like floating through the sky. Yes, these are kind of floating through the sky. It's like a rainbow road, maybe. If you want to call it that, but... I don't know. So far, it seems like my ability to throw eggs fast is actually a good thing. So maybe I'm just going to use that from now on. Hasty is always a good thing. Because you don't have time to check your aim before you throw your uh, yarn. Because you never know. Oh, no. If... Something might destroy the world if you don't throw your yarn at it. I don't know. Yeah. Just gonna eat these guys. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> My mistake. But at least I got one platform. I got I really gotta get used to things again. It's weird. But Yoshi is a strange one. Because he has a watermelon floating above him at all times. It's his guardian watermelon. That's essentially what it is. Yoshi has a guardian watermelon. Some people have something amazing, like a, a guardian poodle. That would be pretty amazing, right? Probably not. But Yoshi, he just has a guardian watermelon. It was the very unfortunate thing that he just has to do. Um, can they get past? Okay, I guess they can. Hey guys, you wanna... Yeah, he jumped right into my mouth perfectly. Oh, see, that was like the only one so far that hasn't actually had some sort of super secretive deal going on there, but... Okay. Ah! I wonder if that is actually have anything to do with being the hasty kind of... Did I survive? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Or if it, I just keep, like, mashing the buttons like crazy today. That might just be the problem. It might just be, but this is just like some sort of optical illusion, I want to say. That it looked like this was actually like moving, but they weren't. These aren't dunes, they're waves, man. 
But I don't know, there's, I feel like there should be secrets or something like that on these little yarn baskets of freedom. It's always freedom. Because you have the freedom to eat whatever you want out of the basket. Whether it be a bunch of sandwiches or watermelons floating from the sky. And what the heck is this? It looks like some sort of thing out of... Ah! <laughs> Yoshi story. But... Or just like the Yoshi universe in general. But the... the I, I don't know. Maybe it's just something that's unlickable. And just so very unlickable. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! His, his face was getting crushed a little bit there. Just just a wee little bit. It was, it was fine though. Nice. I knew that there had to be something up there, or else, like, why would they have a little bit of an up, up here bit? Unless it's just a, a what the heck. I think I did actually crush Yoshi's nose for a second there. It's too bad he can't make the noises when he has, like, his food in his mouth. Because Yoshi's, uh, I was gonna say this is Yoshi's story again. Yoshi's Woolly World, it's all about getting, like, proper etiquette. It's like that one etiquette book that's, like, the most hilarious thing in the world. Don't eat the doily. But, it's, uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, where he says, don't talk with your mouth full of watermelon. How do you get the one down there? Cause I, I can't, hmm, oh well. Okay, I think I should stop double tapping things. That might be a bit of a problem. So once I, I hold it and then just let go of it. Hold, then let go. Oh no. The wave! It's coming to crush us all! Oh no, it did absolutely nothing. I think that the reason why that's there is just so then you- Ooh, hello. Oh. Actually, that might be a good idea, because I mean, I don't want to waste some yarn. Oh, that's all that was. I am very disappointed. Very disappointed. Ooh! Just gonna shoot watermelon seeds all over the world. I need it. Oh, here we go. Secret door. Or maybe this is actually the door you have to go through, but then it, it's very secretive at the... Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Also, that door gave me absolutely nothing. I'm... Just... I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, well. It's still worth it to kill all the piranha plants, though. In the world. Because Yoshi... That's partially etiquette, in a way. He teaches etiquette and also genocide. It's kind of a strange combination, but uh, that's what Yoshi does. Like most uh, video game characters, they promote genocide for some reason. For some strange reason. That, ooh. Let's see if I can actually, oh no, I can't get over it. Why would you eat a dog like that? That's terrible. Ugh. Okay, there we go. I don't think I'm ever gonna get that one yarn ball from the ceiling anymore. But, there's always, Oh! Run, Yoshi, run! I don't know what I'm going for here, but... Is there... Maybe there's something off in the distance, too. I don't know. I'm gonna have to press the switch again, just in case. Also, I'm gonna get my yarn back. Because I kind of need a couple. At least. Just, just for luck. Just for luck. But... Or to get this guy. Oh boy. At least we can just slide. Slide. Oh no, that's probably. You do actually need to press this. Just so then it gets flat, because or else you can't really make it in time. Oh! Double tap for the win. Okay. Sort of for the win. Actually, I'm gonna. Nope, I can't go down. Oh, and I might actually need that to get forward too. Unless. Let's see. No, no, no. There's no way. Good to know. Good to know. At least it's easy to go with the grain and eat it all up so very deliciously. Okay. Yoshi, now's your chance to be the best little duck hunt dog in the world. Yeah, there we go. I'm still just gonna say over and over and over again that, like, the hasty aimer, it's just, it's slightly different. It's slightly different, so I mean, I have to just get used to it. But I think it is still better overall. Slightly better. Oh! When you see a flower bouncing, what the heck? Um, um... I'm gonna leave. Oh, okay, they just... They just blow up a little bit. But yeah, and also, as I was saying before about, like, curbiness and stuff like that... 
This makes me think of kind of like Kirby, that there's spiky guys in the desert. It's, it's not like any other desert in the world does that. Nope. Never. That's why it's secretive and special. Okay. Okay, I don't think I can actually go through that, unfortunately enough. But they have a lot of different kinds of piranha plants in this world of Yoshi. So many different kinds of piranha plants. Oh no. Oh! Eat from the sky and spit to their thigh? Wait, what? Oh no. Ah! <laughs> this is actually really, really overpowered though. I guess there's a reason why it was like a special thing that you had to buy. But now I wanted to know what unlimited watermelons even meant. Cause it's unlimited watermelons. That's that's just the way things are and Yoshi. He's very concerned if he's not eating those watermelons. Oh, let's see. So these are not the way it is in Mario. Unless. Oh, okay. Hey, shy guys. You want to be eaten, guys? Huh? That's really clever. Totally clever. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Yes! I knew there was a reason that I was eating all of those gems. And you know what? I'm gonna get the desert, Yoshi. That he specializes in... Ah! Running away. That's, that's what he specializes in, trust me, it's, it's a very good strategy. I mean, if Doctor Who agrees with him, then the Desert Yoshi will too. Which, I mean, it makes sense, because whenever you go into the desert, then you have to... I'm actually gonna eat another watermelon. Just because. Makes things easy, okay? Don't judge me! Secretly, I knew that this was actually going to be what infinite watermelons meant the entire time. But, yeah. <laughs> Oh, is this the end? I think it is. With half a watermelon in my mouth, I win. Oh, man. And also, are those like... I was gonna say they're like baobab trees or something, because that's the only kind of tree that really... Actually, that's in the... the savannah kind of places. There's That's not a desert, necessarily. Hmm. What kind of trees are in the desert? I don't know. But there's a pyramid in the background. So you know what? I think we're gonna go to the pyramids next. And find out that the real person that made the pyramids was a Yoshi tongue. Oh, here we go. This is the one like little game that I'm actually kinda decent at. I think it's because like it's it's probably to make people feel better after being terrible at the other one. Because, you know. That other one's difficult, man. It's the hardest thing in the world. Yes! I only have three seconds. Three seconds to glory and oh. I is that really I think that pretty much made up for the fact that I did use that watermelon last. But I mean I I want to become a millionaire gem collector. Okay, I was just trying to read what that one uh, thing was on the Beaver's post, but it was it was nothing important. Absolutely nothing important. What's more important, though, is this. What kind of amazing Yoshi? Oh, man. You've did it this safari, Yoshi, back together. Okay. So we're just gonna go on a safari through the desert. That means it must have been a Baobob tree. Totally. Oh, it looks like we're going underground for that one. So you know what? Although the Duck Hunt Dog Yoshi is pretty ridiculous. Look, look at this thing. I think, also, because I think on the ba on his back there, that's supposed to be a, a duck. I think it is. But this one, this one's better. Oh, no. Okay, I guess I was being Watermelon Yoshi before I switched. Didn't realize, but yeah, I, I want to be Safari Yoshi. Because, I mean, I... This is like camo. That's what this looks like. I have desert camo. And Yoshi has to blend in and become Solid Snake. But not Solid Snake, because Solid Snake is not in Metal Gear Solid 5. It is Big Boss. So yeah. World 2-2. Dupalicious Delve? I think that's what it is. Dupalicious? Or dupl Dupalicious? So I'm guessing there's a lot of duplicates. I'm not... 
Oh, there's another all-you-can-eat watermelon. So I guess that whenever you use it, you can still keep it forever. So every single level, if I wanted to, I could just use the fall into a pit, no problem thing. It looks like. It looks like. I'm not too sure. I'm not going to use it anymore, though, unless I actually have to for any of those badges, though. So that's the plan, at least. But there's going to be a lot of duplicates of Yoshi that maybe it's going to be like the double cherry. Yeah, I think this this Yoshi looks a lot more like fuzzier than my Duck Hunt Dog Yoshi. What the heck? That's not possible. No! Why? I was Yoshi's sort of saying no. Why? Or no? Okay. Maybe there's... I'm gonna learn some sort of new tactic to get through things. Or this is... Oh, boy. This really... <gasps> oh! It's those, like, rats that steal things. Oh, no. It's like, um... Actually, I think that my aiming style is actually... I, fi I think I figured it out. Whatever. But, yeah, it's, it's like we're playing Paper Mario now. And that's awesome. Oh! Cause, I mean, that... Those guys are only in Paper Mario, as far as I know. That's... They're, we're not in Super Mario Bros. 2 or anything like that. But this is weird. Nintendo really does like... Oh, no! Trying to steal my wool, are ya? Oh. And I guess I can't really... Can't really get him. He's just far enough away. Ah! That's what you get. That's what you get. I'm, I, I'm gonna go up. Oh. See, and there was a reason to go up. Because, I mean, if you go down, you would have not... Oh, no! You wouldn't have been able to get through it exactly. Also, can I crush him? Yes, I can. But, yeah. Paper Mario. That's, what, that's where we are now. Because, I mean... I guess they're maybe not, like, thief mice as much as they're desert mice. That might actually be what it is. And they just have to make their way in the world. The only way they know how is by stealing things, because there's nothing really in the world of, like, the desert. Other than there's the one oasis, and then other than that, I mean, you're, you're screwed. You're absolutely screwed. Can't make a living out in the desert without a bunch of thievery. That's probably why Tatooine is, like, the way it is. That's what I think. That's what I think. And say, oh, okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to go down. Oh no! But not too far down because I can finally... Maybe this guy can go back up. See, this is like a combination though. Because I mean, yeah. As I was saying is that Nintendo does like to have this kind of like crazy... It's like 3D, but not... But, but it is 3D. New type of crazy gameplay mechanics. Also. Ah, uh, I think I know what I can do here. Yeah! Oh, I was hoping that pinball was gonna go for the rest of time. Oh well. Hey, wait, wait, what's this? What's this? More secrets? Yeah, it is. Okay. I think I got all the secrets in this kind of area, so I can go back down again. Because, I mean, still, it's... Uh, that, uh... Captain Toad Treasure Tracker had this kind of gameplay, also Kirby, like the one on 3DS. Kirby's 3D world <laughs> land. I don't I don't remember what it's called. Had it. And now Yoshi has it. He has the force. Oh! I just have so many of these like blue colors of wool. Maybe, maybe they're trying to take their their friends back. Cause I mean, I'm I'm trying to take my friends back from things. Oh. Okay, I thought that there should be some way, but the, what the Okay, so I guess, like, you... What? I'm confused. I'm confused as to where I'm supposed to be going. There's too many secrets, man! Too many secrets! Oh, well. Uh, but I can go backwards. Okay. This is... Oh, I know how to get that, though. Like that. Oh, or I can just... Obliterate the mice... By my choosing. But also, these are basically like booze. Oh! 
Because whenever- ah, Whenever you look at them, then they don't do anything to you. But if- Ooh! Ah! He finally hurt me! It was terrible! I thought that I was camouflaged! Oh, here we go. Oh, this, this next Yoshi looks like it will be really amazing. It's pink. Pink and... Cute. I don't know. I just want a lot of just various colored Yoshis. We need to have a lot of differences between them. No similarities. Yoshis pride themselves with differences. What the heck is this? Mole Yoshi. Dig through the spongy earth with B. Dig up, dig down, dig all around. Okay. Oh, no. Do I just... Oh, yeah, I press with B. Whoa! This is weird. This is essentially like the, the, the guys in Skyward Swords, but not <laughs> at all. Not even close. This is weird, though. I kind of like it. Ah! Who knew that digging through rock would be so difficult? It seems like it would be so easy. Also, like, this rock, like, seems like it looks like, um... I don't know. Some sort of graham cracker? No, maybe it's like felt. Not, not felt. Um. I don't care. I will kill myself if it is to get a Yoshi. That's that's always the goal. Yoshi. Yoshis are us. But no, they're they're like cork. I think that's what it was. It was like cork board or something. Corks aboard. Oh. Oh. There we go. But yeah, I think that is actually the only difference. That might actually be the only difference with aiming, is that if you just press X once, it just fires, instead of, like, initiating targeting mode. Which is a pretty impressive thing to do. Okay, I... How many? Oh, I need two more. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go back here, just in case. Hey, look at this! Okay, so how would one get through that? Or, there we go. Ugh. Oh, that's that was slightly useful, but more than uh, nothing, and less than something, I need to actually get... Oh, hello. I, I still need- I need more yarn. There's just a little bit more. Also, these wheels that I have look pretty amazing with my crazy colored desert Yoshi. So I have camo. So much camouflage. When I lie flat on the ground, you can't even see me. This, this is also the best cam- oh, what? Oh, there we go. Because it's also the best camo against, um... Oh, did I... I just need to figure out where I am. I think that's the main goal here. I just need to figure out where I am, who I am, what... Hmm... Maybe if I go through this and then go around? Yeah, this looks like a way to go. Hey! Hey, you! I'm gonna lick you down. And then this way? This this way? Yes! I didn't mean to really No. No! How maybe there's just another one around here that I'm missing. So I went all the way to the top first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check over here. <laughs> it's it's my ultimate goal. I, I just need it. I need the all the yarn. Mmm. Oh well. I'll find a way. I will find a way. Please, please, sir. Okay, there we go. It's all good. Cause maybe if we go... This must be super secret way, though. It's always super secret. If not, well... That piranha plant's gonna destroy the world. Okay, there seems to be nothing over there. Good to know. I have a feeling it might have something to do with this. This. Please. No? Or... Ah! No, you don't. I was not even close to a neutral for getting more yarn on that, but... Oh well. At least I have so much yarn that they could take it all. Oh no! You're not taking the big one, though. And I wouldn't even care. Okay, there must be something up there. There must be. Wait, I just... I'm just, like, taunting the mouse out of things. Out of his ways. Oh, there we go. I didn't- <gasps> Yes! 
So that's gonna be a, a very delicious looking Yoshi. It's like pink and orange. Some sort of cotton candy, ice cream, stuff. Okay, now seriously, I'll actually have to figure out how to get out of here. Because I have to go left? I don't know. Don't know why that would be the one before- Oh, that's probably because- Yeah, I, I, I understand. Don't need to even question it. It's because of the fact that, like, this is the way out of the level. And it's just very confusing and I get lost. Whoop! Mid-air throwing. Worked perfectly. Oh, that's probably what I actually have to do now. I might need to go back. There's a bit of backtracking in this one. Or... Oh, no. Well... That's at least the plan, then. A bit of backtracking, a bit of... Looping around... But also, I want to say that, like, these little, like... Doorways look so nice. They're so, like, properly knitted. I guess that's what happens when you have, uh... A world that's kind of... You know, it, it can be made perfect. Oh, I don't even need that one. But I'll throw it, ooh, just in case. Or I missed. I missed again. Hey, bounce back. It's all about playing that pool, man. No, you don't. I don't think I really even need anything else from this level. I'm just gonna run. See if you can stop me. Oh, ratty boys. Ugh. Oh, did I get... I got all of them. Oh well. Yeah, I'm now I'm just gonna bounce off of all their heads. And I'll throw I'll throw their dead friends at them. They can have them back. Because I got my dead friend, so they can have their dead friends. So, yeah. Reconstruct that Yarn Rats. Oh no. It's the best comeback in the world. Oh, please say I actually 100% of this level 100%. Oh, I need a little bit more gems, but I guess that's what happens when you try to... When you try to dig through the world and you mess up. Because you're not a Monty Mole, unfortunately enough. That's what happens. Because digging is difficult. Digging through cork, specifically. Because cork... I don't know if you can actually really dig through cork in real life. That would not really work very well. At, at all. You've collected 150 stamp patches, earning you a new stamp. I always want to say it's only one, but it's multiple. Oh, whatever. Congratulations! Okay, let us see what's the next Yoshi. Look at this. It's gonna be amazing. Ooh. What is it called? You've knitted Cinnamon Yoshi. Wow, oh, that's, that's what I thought. I, I said it was going to be a delicious Yoshi, and cinnamon is delicious. Just as long as you're not eating it plain, on its own, and in a large amount all at once, and nearly causing asphyxiation. I can't say it. Asphyxiation? Whatever. But you get the point. 